Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to design an eye-catching and attention-grabbing CV in Microsoft Word. A resume or a CV is the first document that a potential employer will look at before deciding to offer an employment opportunity to the candidate. Therefore, a great resume with easy to understand headers helps a job seeker get good job. So let's dive into the video to see how we can craft a great CV for you. First, open a Microsoft Word document, go to Layout tab, in the margins, choose Narrow Margins from here. Next, go to Size and choose this A4 size. Now, head over to the Insert tab, in the Shapes, choose a Rectangle and let me draw a rectangle right from here. Next, you can go to Shape Fill and fill a color right from here. I'm going to choose these recent color. One of them is dark blue and the other is also a shade of dark blue. The hex code of both these colors can be seen on your screen. Let me click on dark blue. Next, again, go to Insert Tape Shapes and this time we are going to choose this rounded rectangle and draw it over here. Rotate it like this. Let me place it over here again rotate it till you see its fit increase its size like this and let me bring this rectangle up extend it to the corners like this put it over here next now click over it go to shape format and from the shape fill option let me choose this particular color dark blue select this shape again go to outline and make no outline and similarly, you should remove the outline of this particular rectangle as well. Next, we are going to apply some shadow to this top rounded rectangle. Go to Shape Format and in the Shape Effects option, go to Shadows. And this time, we are going to choose this offset bottom outer shadow. Let me zoom out a little bit. Now, grab this rectangle and drag it down to the bottom like this. Extend a little towards the left side. And there we have it. Let me zoom in. Next, we are going to insert the photo, insert tab, go to pictures, this device, and I'm going to insert this image that I have downloaded from pixabay.com. In the picture format option, go to wrap text and choose this option in front of the text. Zoom out, grab the photo from one corner, hold the shift key and reduce the size of the photo. Next, click over it, go to crop option and let me crop it to a desired size like this and you can cut it out from the sides as well till you get a symmetric and an appropriate photo. Now click outside and there we have our photo. Let me zoom in, hold it from the corner, hold the shift key and reduce the size place it over here and there we are next click on the photo go to crop option and crop to shape option and i'm going to choose this oval shape and there we have our photo you can tweak it from the sides to fit it perfectly if the person in the image is not in the center then click over the photo right click go to format picture in the image option picture position you can tweak the picture position for example i can simply click on this offset x and bring it in the center and similarly offset y to bring it up a little bit like this and there we go now click on the photo go to picture border and choose a border right from here so i'm going to click on this dark blue color again into the border and let's increase the thickness to two and a quarter point again choose the image go to picture effects into the glow and let's choose this five point blue accent color one and there we have our photo placed in our cv now let's write the name of the person in the cv go to insert tape shapes and choose this text box click over here and let me write the name nurulain han and let me increase its size right from here i think 16 is good enough and uh, let's change the fonts to montesirat extra bold let me place it right over here now go to shape fill option and remove no fill in the shape outline no outline now select the font and let's give it a color and we are going to give it the same color as we have applied in the rest of the cv that is dark blue right beneath the name you can give the position of the person in the cv let me write marketing manager and reduce its size right from here select both go to this particular option and choose remove 
space after paragraph and let me choose a slightly different font for the position and we are going to choose a lighter version of Monty Seeret so this I think Monty Seeret light looks best now we are going to enter some details onto this dark blue rectangle let me go again to insert tab shapes and let's choose this text box click over here and let me write contact details select bold keep the font set 12 select the color and change its color from here to white next select remove the shape fill option to no fill and outline to no outline next you can go to insert tab and right over here you can see we have icons option insert in icon you can simply click over here to insert icon i have downloaded all my icons so i'm gonna choose it from my pictures option i'm gonna select this phone option let me put it over here it's too large you can see that is why it's recommended that you should go to insert tab and choose it from the icons anyway if you have downloaded like me let me show you how to fix it in your cv click over here click on the picture format wrap text in front of the text let me zoom out a little bit see it's quite a large icon simply hold it from a corner hold the shift key and drag it down like this to reduce it now you can simply bring it to a place where you want it to be reduce it again like this let me place it over here and click off go to color option and choose a color from here i'm going to choose this orange color for the moment and there we have it you can also click over it and right over here you can see we have picture corrections picture color and right at the bottom we have picture transparency in the picture color option click on recolor and you can choose any of the color from here and let me choose this time green one i think i think this looks good let me zoom in and now you can insert the details and now you can <coughs> and now you can insert the contact details so simply click on this text box hold the control key and drag it down to make a copy let me put in the details now simply drag it towards right to see everything clearly and that's it in a similar manner you can fill in all the contact details simply go to insert choose an icon like email icon web icon or things like that since i have already inserted these details into another cv so i'm gonna copy and paste the details over here these are just dummy details you can put in your exact contact details over here so i'm gonna go over to my cv and let me copy all these details right from here and put in there so i'll click on copy Control c and let me put it over here by pressing Control v so this is the email option i'm gonna place it over here and let me insert my email detail and the process is similar simply select the text box press the Control key and drag it down to make a copy and insert your detail and let me insert the rest of the details quickly next we are going to insert the address let me put in the website detail over here this is the option this is the icon for the web let me copy this text box and put in my website you must make sure to have consistent fonts in your cv next we are going to give language details over here for that go to insert shapes and choose this rectangle simply apply it like this go to the fill option and choose this dark blue color so Simply right click over here add text and let me write language select it increase the size and let's give Monty Seeded light font let me make it bold again go to insert tab now choose this contact again make a copy of it drag it down and let's put in the details of our languages let me delete it go to home tab and let me choose bullet option so I'll write English increase the size enter Spanish French and that's it you can decrease it like this this looks good you can place it right in the middle like this be consistent with your design you can see there are two clothes simply select go over here and choose 1.5 and now they looks good again copy this rectangle by pressing control key and holding the rice mouth button and drag it down like this again i'm gonna copy this contact and let me put in details over here press delete go to home tab and this time let me choose this recently used option so i'll write management skills let me increase the text box size digital marketing project management financial analyst simply drag it towards right and left and there we have our detail if you want any further details you can include right over here at the bottom or you can simply drag it up a little bit like this and also bring it over here so let me write over here 
skills summary next i'm going to make one more copy of it and place it over here and we can write it to be hobbies so these are the hobbies details now right over here under this white portion we are gonna add about me section experience section and education section so let me go about the about me section simply go over here into insert the shapes let me choose this line and press shift key to draw a line like this go into the shape outline and choose a slightly thicker weight from here and i'm gonna choose this three and let me give it this darker color next you can copy this text box and bring it over here and let me give it some since the text is white that's why you can't see it let me change it to dark blue and there we have our details you can simply delete it and paste all your details over here so i have already copied it so i'm gonna simply paste it over here Control v and this is simply a dummy text and let me put it over here increase the font size to 12 now on the top write about me and let me make it bold apply this dark font color and let me increase the font size to 14 simply zoom in right from here to see clearly if you want you can simply increase the size of this line from here next copy this line by pressing ctrl key and drag it down like this decrease its size and this time we are gonna list our experiences just like about me section i'm gonna copy paste it over here and there we have it let me decrease the size click on the top and let me write experience increase the font size from here let me change these fonts to garamond because garamond font looks good now select it and bring it down a little bit like this and there we have our experience section and finally we are going to include our education section which i have already copied so i'm going to paste it over here but before that let me make one more copy of this line Control v and let me place it right over here and this is our education section and again i'm going to include education and make it bold make it bold as well and right over here at the bottom you can include your references i have simply written references will be provided on demand and there we have our cv ready but if you look closely at this cv you can see there are some inconsistencies in the cv for example we have used garamond font of 12 size but over here we have garamond font 13.5 sizes let's make them consistent choose it and let's choose 14 from here select it and there you go we have created a beautiful cv in microsoft word you can simply click on ctrl s to save it and let me convert it into an adobe pdf document so go into the file click on save as adobe pdf and let me give it a name click on save and you can see it's being converted to a pdf document and there you go just look at it how beautiful our cv is now you can simply get a print of it and you can also get a print right from here from the word document as well simply go to file click on print simply attach the printer put the number of the copies and there you go this is how it would look like once it gets printed so that was it for today's tutorial i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching